reductions of pi bonds. Uh, why I mentioned reductions of pi bonds? Because this could be double bonds or triple bonds or cyclic double bonds, cyclic triple bonds, and so on. So you can apply to any of those reagents where you have a carbon to carbon pi bond. So it's better to learn rather than isolated alkenes, alkynes, and so on, or cyclic alkenes it's better to go with the pi bond. So if, I, if I'm if i given a reaction, let's say 2-butyne, then you're going to see all the possibilities when you reduce uh, the 2-butyne compound. So you can draw it in two different ways. So it might be depending on how you see or how your professor teaches that. And then either way, we can actually have a short um, applicable applicable method for any situation right now uh, so the first one to use is sort of the universal one which is palladium carbon and hydrogen gas here what's the carbon is actually about 90 percent or five percent of the reagent and the palladium is actually the catalyst and carbon is a filler so there's no um, other involvement with the carbon because palladium uh, powder is very expensive so it's, it's mixed with the carbon um, filler now what's the product we can get very easy because it's triple bond starting with you basically reacted on two pi bonds and each pi bond gets two hydrogens and then you will end up with butane right so again you can draw it in two different ways uh, whatever familiar to you and then so if I sort of mark the two pi bonds like this in pink, and then all you do is this hydrogen will be added to the each pi bond each end, right? So I get rid of one, add two hydrogens. I get rid of the second one, and I add another um, two hydrogens. If you notice, each hydrogen I put either solid, solid, or dash, dash, right? The reason is hydrogen gas is adsorbed onto the metal surface or metal metal um, catalyst and that's how it same side addition happens so if you learn about the sin and um, and um, anti addition so this is a sin addition so what's the other one is to important thing to know lindlar so the lindlar normally uh, most of the courses they will be saying only the name but what is in there is um, hydrogen, um, magnesium carbonate, and quinoline, some um, poison to kill the catalyst. So you're going to get a cis addition on this case. So again, it's a cis addition, but this product also cis product. So that's the special thing. Now, next method is actually ammonia, liquid, uh, liquid ammonia, lithium, or sodium. So that means you need to have lithium or sodium metallic version and then the liquid ammonia. So you will end up with the trans product in this case. So th that's the fundamental difference. So because alkenes, you can have only two kinds depending on where the um, triple bond is, right? Now there's another thing to know. So this palladium carbon and hydrogen, sort of the magic mixture. If you do have seen platinum uh, or nickel, these are specific uh, industrial conditions.